It's the NBL Canada recap, and we check in on the Windsor Express as it hosts the Niagara River Lions at the WFCU Center. These teams meet for the third time in the last eight days. Much like the last time these teams hooked up, Maurice Bolden gets off to a hot start. He first goes to work in the post and gets the turnaround jumper a fall. Next sequence down, he scores off the offensive rebound. Bolden then knocks down the jumper after a nice drop-off pass from Adrian Moss. He scored the first six points for the Express. Logan Stutz continues his strong play and hits this reverse bucket. Sammy Zaglinski shows off his range with his deep three. Brandon Robinson is the reigning player of the week and decides to show why he received the honor and nails a three from downtown himself. Robinson wasn't done as he throws up another one and hits. Much like Brandon, Sammy wasn't done either. The River Lion's scrappiness is on full display right here as Blazik gets his bucket to drop. Blazik comes back down and gives Niagara a 10 point lead with his three ball. Sammy then hooks up with Logan Stutz for the old give and go play and that leads to the end one. More Niagara defense in action as Sammy Z swipes the ball from Robinson and quickly pushes the ball up the court to Springer Williams for the flush. Tony Bennett cues the comeback with a deep three at the end of the third. Robinson is forced to create in the air to get around two Niagara defenders. Mo Bolden goes back to work in the post once again and scores. Mo then attacks the offensive glass for two more points. Throughout the fourth, Windsor kept up the defensive intensity. Here's Tony Bennett with a block. The Express move the ball around with some pretty passing, and it leads to a Mo dunk. Speaking of pretty passing, check this out. Have some fun with that. Jamal McQueen, three-way passing <laughs> play! <laughs> Sit down! Maurice Bolden with an exclamation point. Windsor would close out the game thanks to a strong fourth quarter, both on the offensive and defensive end. Player of the Week, Brandon Robinson, explains. Um, I just felt like the first three quarters, you know, we were making we were making like small mistakes that we shouldn't have been making, giving up rebounds and easy buckets. And then in the fourth quarter, we just like we just went on our run and we, we sat down and played defense and worked on the keys. Like we, we executed the keys that we worked on throughout the week. So uh, that was that was real big for us in the fourth quarter. It came at a great time, and then we yeah, had players like Tony and Mo. Mo Buck, they all made plays like you know they can, so they were real big for us in the fourth quarter as well. 